She's crazy. <laughs> Talks to herself all the time. Like the Tasmanian devil. I hear her in the other room. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I gotta buy her one of those Bluetooth phones for her ear so people at least think she was talking to somebody. <laughs> Put the phone on your ear. People are looking at you. <laughs> She's nuts. We're going to the show in time. No, here's another thing that happened, I gotta tell you. We named our son Michael, right? She wanted to give him a real ethnic name, like Salvador, Giuseppe. I'm like, the kids already got an Italian last name. Campanero, I don't want him to sound like he just came off the boat. <laughs> Giuseppe Campanero, why don't you give him a fruit stand while you're at it? Yeah, throw him a monkey in an organ, make him really feel it up. Hey, Giuseppe, how's your tomatoes? My tomatoes are really ripe. You're gonna make a nice sauce with my tomatoes. Ha, cha, cha, cha. <laughs> Antonio Campanera, the kid to be coming out of the womb. Listen, I want you to feed me every three hours. <laughs> Give me a rattle to play with. And when you change my diapers, I appreciate it. If you blow dry my butt. <laughs> you know, so I don't get a rash. She used to make me blow dry my son's butt when he got a rash. Have you ever heard of this? What are you talking about? You gotta blow dry his butt before you put on a new diaper. He's getting a rash. He's still damp. Don't you know anything? <laughs> Apparently not. I'm in the other room. <laughs> Looking for the cops. <laughs> the kid loved it. His eyes went up, his eyes went out, his legs went up. It was hysterical. It worked every time. He could be crying his eyes out. Wah, wah. <laughs> and I know I'm messing him up for life. <laughs> you know, 30 years from now, his wife's gonna be going, you want me to do what? Blow dry what? Just play along. I've got some issues. My old man was an idiot. Here's the blow dryer. <laughs> Memories! <laughs> I tried it myself, it's not half bad. Don't sell it short. Whatever turns you on, that's what I say, right? I was having sex with a woman once and out of nowhere, her dog comes up, starts licking my butt. She's like, Blackie, get out of there, Blackie, shoo. I'm like, wait a second now. There's no need to be rash. Who's getting hurt? Blackie seems to be having a good time. I'm certainly enjoying myself. Who's the victim? It was one hell of a summer. <laughs> kind of messed me up though. It's hard to find a dog that'll do that anymore. And it's not like you could train him either. I tried everything. Peanut butter, salt, <laughs> kibbles and bits. I even rubbed a cat on my ass just for the scent. <laughs> Nothing. It's a butt licker, it's not. Like a roll of the dice. Come on, butt licker. And you can't go to the pound and request one, right? I don't even know if they'd have that information. And even if they did, probably wouldn't give it out. You'd have to wait till nobody was looking, you know? Kind of drop trial, lean against the cage, see if any of them took the bait. Then how do you know the dog's not doing it just to get out, right? You know? You get him home and he won't lick your butt anymore. Who needs that? I walk it twice a day and feed it and he won't lick my ass, that's bullshit.